welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little review video. I don't have too too much to say about these little guys but I thought they definitely deserved their own little video because there are so many people with so many different opinions on this palette. So I thought I would quickly come on here and give you guys mine and do some swatches as well of the six different shades I own from these little guys. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So guys, I had seen Amy Loves Makeup do a little review on this one and I almost bought it when I saw her post that video and I was like, no, 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 no. I don't need to spend $3 or $2 or anything on more green shadows and I didn't buy it. Then I saw like all over Walmarts, Targets, they were all stocking these, especially in the neutral colors. So. I did pick up this one which is Cream and Sugar because I saw Samantha March mention this on her channel. So I did pick it up and I did use it actually on camera when I did my Cleonade eyeshadow look when I had gotten in my Vibrant Multichromes from Cleonade and I used this matte shade situation to kind of start the crease up and stuff like that. So I thought this was pretty good. I love this size. It's so freaking cute. It's so tiny. There's no like waste of space. Like you can definitely throw this in like your makeup bag for work or if you're a student or like on the go, you like to touch up. So I love the size of these and I really enjoyed this little guy. So then it was like I went buck wild on Elf's website and I was like, you know what? Let me just buy all the shades I'm interested in, I think there's more than this too, but I bought five more of these because I was so, so excited. So today I am wearing a mix of cream and sugar. I'm wearing truffles as well as the brown shades from this guy, which is called Carnival Candy. So yeah, super duper cute. I really like these. I think they are so worth the $3 to be very honest with you guys. I feel like they are great for beginners. If you guys have teenage daughters that are getting into makeup and you want to pick something up for them, I would honestly say these are fantastic shadows from the drugstore. So here is Cream and Sugar. Look at those shades on my freaking fingers. They're so beautiful and these are the two shimmers I have on my lids today. I like mixed them up together, but they are so creamy. Do you guys see that? Like, you can see how creamy it is just from this swatch on my hand, in my opinion. So I really like that one for neutral. And then I use the black from this one today. This is Truffles. And this is more of a cool tone palette, but it's so pretty. I just can't believe e.l.f. did something like this. And they actually did it really well. So I'm like really impressed with them. So there's that quad. Take a look. And then let's do the other more neutral one. This is Carnival, I believe, Carnival Candy. And yeah, I love that I have like a good brow bone color. And then this beautiful blue, I haven't, I haven't tried yet, but look at that. So pretty. The one shade like really blended into my arm, but there are those. And then I'm gonna swatch the pinky one. This is called Berry Bad, and it's so pretty. I don't know why, I just felt like it kind of reminded me of like the Naked palette, the one that was, was it Naked 3? <laughs> the one that had all the like the mauves and the berry tones. So there's the finger swatches. Look at that, so creamy. I haven't used this one yet, um, but I thought I should film a review for you guys. Since I had heard from some people, like they didn't think these were that good, I personally really honestly loved them. And you guys know I love high-end makeup, so I was pleasantly surprised by this collection from e.l.f. And this one, I was so curious about this color story. I mean, this is so different for drugstore. I definitely feel like it is a small breakdown of their Earth and Ocean palette, which I also picked up recently. I don't know, I've been into like drugstore stuff and just like checking it out. Now this one isn't as pigmented as some of the neutrals I showed you guys, but I did 
do an eye look with this palette and it worked just fine to be very honest with you guys so I wouldn't be too concerned about picking this up sorry I did a terrible job swatching these let me see if I can extend the swatches I should probably re-swatch them but there they are right there it still worked really well on my eyes so Try not to judge too hard based on my swatches. And then the last one, this is definitely my favorite colorful one. This is, um, what is it called? Hot Jalapeno. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so cute. I wore this to work the other day and I was so impressed. If Elf can do this, what is Too Faced? Excuse, I'm just saying. So <laughs> there is Hot Jalapeno. And let me go ahead and swatch again this one didn't swatch as well as it performed on the eyeballs but you guys I did not have any trouble with these eyeshadow palettes so I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys for balling on a budget you might want to check out the elf bite size eyeshadows I will definitely include some of these in a giveaway. I haven't quite planned it yet. I'm not really trying to like ship people anything with the whole current situation. But once things settle down a little bit, I definitely will do that. And I've got a few of these that I picked up to give some friends because I wanted my friends to try them. And I also picked up some for my internet friends, my YouTube subscribers. So keep an eye out. I will try and throw some in for a giveaway for you guys because I know it's like, uh, I don't want to pay shipping for a $3 eyeshadow palette. Like I was totally there. Luckily Elf was doing some free shipping op options when uh, I was looking at these. So I did, I did score some free shipping on them. But yeah, if you've been contemplating them, I would definitely recommend. And that green one is honestly beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video soon.